Any any Muslims out here? Any Muslims out here in the crowd? Anyone believe in, in, in the Quran? Anyone believe in Islam? Let me ask you a question. When was the last time you read the Quran? You never did? But how are you a Muslim if you never read the Quran? How, so you, let, me, let me talk to you real quick, bro. Come on, bro. You got time. Come on, bro. Look at that, right? So, so boom, right? The first person to answer my question, right? The first Muslim to answer my question. Are you a Muslim? Yes. When's the last time you read the Quran? I never read the Quran. How the fuck are you a Muslim then, bro? How are you following the ways of something that you've never read? They had me smoking weed like I'm a Rasta. A lion falling to his death like Mufasa. But then I got up, my spirit got roused up. And now I use these scriptures like a hundred round chopper. Now I use these scripts and I ain't talking about no pharmacy. Addicted to the law, ate the whole roll, not talking sushi. Yeah, I spit it raw, exposing flaws and ideologies. Christians want no smoke, I cut them up with no apologies. Fuck a Mac 11, this 1611 will give you a hundred rounds Everybody gather round, as I put your favorite pastor six feet underground This a funeral, I'm the undertaker in the mortician Rehearse them righteous acts, pray I make it past them auditions Used to be up in them churches catching hella Z's Now I'm on them corners pushing P, I'm talking we like I'm a Rasta, a First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all glory, all honor I said the Most High God, whose name is Yahweh. I do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Hamashiach Yahweh, who the world and only called Jesus Christ. All right, we the Hebrew Israelites. We come out here week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of this wicked kingdom, of America, and to teach repentance to you, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. So I have a question: Anyone out here a Muslim? Anyone? Anyone out here a Muslim or a Christian? How you doing, sister? You, are you a Christian? You believe in, in, in God? Let me ask you a question. When was the last time you read the Bible? Yesterday, what did you read? Let's talk about the Bible. Did, did you know that the Bible is talking about our people? Did you know that so-called black Spanish Native Americans are the Israelites of the Bible? Did you know that, sister? All right. She, she read, she's a good old Christian. I bet she's going to be in church tomorrow. Right? What's going on, OG? How you doing? OG, what's going on, man? Elder. No? What's up? What's going on, bro? Bro with the yellow hat. Brother with the yellow hat, what's going on, man? Let me ask you a question. Good talk. What's going on, brother? What's going on, man? How you doing? Is that a Bible? What's that book you got in your hand? What do you think it is? Is it the Bible? Is it the Quran? What is it? It's not a Bible. It's a what? It's a Bible? Let's talk about the Bible. We, we're teaching the Bible. You're talking to me later. We're not going to be here later, bro. Man, our people are crazy, man. Absolutely crazy, man. Man, we out, we out here. What, what are y'all trying to say? How should I like in this generation? All right, it's like, it's like those. Yeah, bring that out. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 11, and verse 16. But we're going to shall I like in this generation. It is like unto children singing in the markets and calling unto their fellows. Saying we have piped unto you, and we have not danced. And not danced. What's going on, brother? Brother with the puma. Brother with the puma uh, special. What's going on, King? Let me ask you something real quick. Oh, he, he on a mission, huh? Right? We Saying we have piped unto you, and you have not danced. Uh -huh. We have mourned unto you, and you have not lamented. Uh -huh. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say he have a devil. The son of man came eating and drinking, and they say, Behold, a man gluttonous and wine bearer and a friend of publicans and sinners, but wisdom is justified of her children. See that? And that's our people, man. Our people never give heed to the prophets, or our people never give heed to the messengers of the Lord, right? So we get that in, uh, what's that, Second Chronicles? What's that Second Chronicles 15? They mock the messengers of the Lord? 36. 36 and 15, right? Second Chronicles 36 and 15. All right? What's going on, brother? Let me ask you a question. Damn can't even ask a black man a question in 2023. How you doing, sister? Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Do you believe in the Bible? Yeah. You do? Let me ask you another question. Did you know that the Bible was talking about so-called blacks and Hispanic Native Americans? Have you, have you ever heard that we are the Israelites of the Bible? You ever heard that? Well, let me tell you about, let me tell you about that, sis. You got an appointment? All right, we, we go on, on your way to your appointment, right? Go on YouTube, right? All those YouTube channels, type those in, right? Tons of information, right? So-called Black Spanish Native Americans, we are the Israelites, or God's chosen people, right? right? We got to wake up to that reality in these last days, all right, sis? 
on Prince of the Most High. But you got a precept? Bring it out. This book of Second Chronicles, chapter 36, verse 15. And the Lord God of their fathers who sent you them by his messengers. By his what? By his messengers. What? Rising up be time and sending because he had compassion on his people. See, the Most High God has compassion on these so-called black Hispanic Native right. Americans, right? They're out here getting slain each and every day in these streets. But let me get that Zechariah, uh, what's that, 11? Uh, 11 to 4, uh, the, the flock of the slaughter, right? The children of Israel, you so-called black Spanish Native Americans, y'all are lost sheep, man. All right, y'all like sheep led to the slaughter. Right, but the Most High God still has compassion on you, right, here in the lands of your captivity. And he has compassion on you by sending out his messengers, by sending out his prophets to teach repentance to you. Right, read. And on his dwelling place, but they mocked the messengers of God. What did they do? They mocked the messengers of God and despised his words. Despised his words. What's going on, bro? Let me ask you a question. Crazy. Any any Muslims out here? Any Muslims out here in the Quran? Anyone believe in, in, in the Quran? Anyone believe in Islam? Let me ask you a question. When was the last time you read the Quran? You never did? But how are you a Muslim if you never read the Quran? How, so you, let, me, let me talk to you real quick, bro. Come on, bro. You got time. Come on, bro. Look at that, right? So, so boom, right? The first person to answer my question, right? The first Muslim to answer my question. Are you a Muslim? Yes. When's the last time you read the Quran? I never read the Quran. How the fuck are you a Muslim then, bro? How are you following the ways of something that you've never read? Right. That is absolute madness. Any Muslims out in the crowd? Anyone believe in the Quran? Right? Anyone believe in the Bible out there? No, right? How you doing, sister? Sister with the green shirt, how you doing? Do you believe in God? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Let's talk about Jesus Christ. Let's talk about Jesus Christ, sis. No? Ain't that something? A lot of people talk about they love Jesus, they, they love God, they can't even talk to their own brothers and sisters all right, about Jesus Christ. Ain't that something? Right. Man, listen, if you told me, uh, listen, I was walking up and down the street and I wasn't in this knowledge, and you said, hey, I want to talk to you about Jesus Christ. I was like, hey, yeah, let's talk, let's talk about him. Let's talk about him. But no, our people don't, our people be, be, be full of cat, man, right? These niggas be capping, man. I, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm convinced that most of our people have lifetime memberships at least. Right. right? These niggas are full of cap. Right, right. Absolute madness, man. You see, our, listen, man. Our people claim to love God. They claim to know God. They claim to have a personal relationship with God. But yet they don't want to have a conversation about it. Right? How you doing, brother? What's going on, brother? Let me talk to y'all real quick. Yep. Y'all yep. got somewhere to be? Where y'all got to be? The movies, alright, alright, alright. I, I won't hold y'all. Right? How y'all, how y'all sisters doing? Y'all, y'all Muslims? Well, let me ask y'all a question. When's the last time y'all read the Quran? Last week. Last week? Last week? What did you learn? Oh. Not really. Huh? I didn't really like any English. I just spent like. Do you speak Arabic? A little bit. A little bit? So so you, you read a book that you don't really understand? It's a good question. Has anyone ever asked you that question before, sis? No. Let me ask you a question. Why are you Muslim? Because I was raised Muslim. You was raised Muslim? Your mom and dad are Muslim? But let me show you something in the Quran, right? Let me, get, I'm a, uh, let me show you something real quick, right? Let me get Sora. Let me get Sora 29 and 27, right? And you get Sora 3 and 84. Right? Let me show you something real quick. Because, you know what I've been doing? I've been reading the Quran, right? I've been reading the Quran because why, why am I reading the Quran? Because I know that a lot of our people, especially here in Philadelphia, are Muslim. Right? Now, right? So don't, don't, don't listen to this and tell you to walk away, right? I'm going to read the Quran to you, right? Read that. This is, the, this is Sora 29, 27. And we gave to him Isaac and Jacob uh -huh. and placed in his descendants prophethood. Placed in his descendants what? Prophethood. So the Quran says that in the descendants of, of Isaac and Jacob, right, was prophethood. Right? Read on. And scripture. Uh -huh. And we gave him his reward in this world. And indeed, he is in the hereafter among the righteous. Among the righteous. So the Quran is attest to the fact that prophethood was given to the children of Israel. Right now, let me ask you a question, right? What's your ethnic background? 
What's your race? African American, right? So Africa is one continent, America is another continent. Which what, what country in Africa are you from? You know? How are you African American? You don't even know where in Africa you're from. Let me ask you a better question. How did our people get from Africa to America to be called African Americans? Slavery. And, how, and what mode of transportation did they use to get us from Africa to America? By boat, right? It was 211, July uh, 28, right? Hold that Quran, right? So let me show you something, sister, right? So the Quran just said that prophethood was given to the children of Israel, right? Read that, Amos 2 and 11. Comments in Amos chapter 2, verse 11. And I raised up your sons for prophets, and of your young men for Nazarites. Is it not even thus, O ye children of Israel? Say the Lord. So the children of Israel are the prophets, right? The children of Israel. Don't, don't leave, sis. Come on, sis. He was learning. He was getting the Come on, sis. Absolute madness. See, what y'all don't come to find out is that there's, first and foremost, zero prophecy from the so-called prophet Muhammad, right? All of our people who are following the ways of Islam, who got hijabs on, right, who are, who are got prostration marks on their head because they had the mosque banging their forehead on the ground, right, you're going to come to find out that there's zero prophecy in the Quran, right? Prophethood was actually given to your forefathers, right? You so-called black Spanish and Native Americans, right? Regardless of your religion, right? You are the children of Israel. Right. How y'all doing, family? Uh, let me ask you, y'all Muslim? Huh? Yeah. yeah. She, she Muslim, you Muslim, sister? Let me ask you a question. When the last time you read the Quran? Um, well, it's been a long time because I'm legally blind, but... It's been a long time? Yeah. Okay, you listen to it? Let me, can I, can I show you something in the Quran? Not today? All right, sis. What about you? What, sis, why are you telling her to, to leave? Why are you telling her to walk away? Why are you a Muslim? When the last time you read your Quran? Right. Yeah. Madness, right? Uh, again, no disrespect. Islam is trash. Islam is absolute garbage and is not the way of life for so called blacks, Spanish, and Native Americans. My question is what has Islam done for the black community, especially here in Philadelphia? Islam's supposed to be about peace. If all these niggas in, Muslim, in, in Philly are Muslims, right, and, and Islam is supposed to be about peace, why the hell are niggas killing each other? Right. Why is that? Where's the peace in the so-called city of brotherly love that's full of Muslims if Islam is about peace? That's my question. Islam has nothing to do with you so-called black Spanish and Native Americans. How your brothers doing? Y'all believe in God? Huh? I'm chilling. You chilling? Do you believe in God? Can I talk to you about God real quick? You gotta run, why you gotta run? You're walking though. <laughs> you don't really gotta run if you're walking. You Come on, bro. What? You even gotta ski for it. <laughs> That's not a guy you should be taking advice from, right? <laughs> not at all. <laughs> Goodness gracious. That, listen, God damn, bro. It, 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 listen, that nigga like a big ass blueberry. <laughs> anyway, man. I mean, I, listen, man. Islam, again, is absolute trash. And by the way, Christianity is trash, man. That's right. Christian, I, listen, I, every day, every other day, I'm like, I, I don't know which one's worse, Christianity or Islam, right? Because I've had a lot of conversations with Christians, and i had a lot of conversations with Muslims. I don't think I've ever met an intelligent Muslim that I've ever had a conversation with. Not one. But I, listen, I really want to have a conversation uh, with, with, a, with a Muslim, with a Muslim brother or sister, man. Because again, I want to know, like, if you're a Muslim, when's the last time you read your Quran? Yeah, I, want, I have a question. Any, any Muslims out in the crowd? Any, any Muslims in the crowd? Any Muslims in the crowd? I want to talk to a Muslim, right? I want to see how many Quran-believing Muslims are out here, man. Yep. Who, who out here is a Muslim? Who believes in the Quran? And who reads it? That's what I want to know, man. I want to know... That's good. That's good. Sister, that's good. Right? But what Jesus Christ do you believe in? Right. Do you, do you believe in the sweet white one that tells you you can do whatever the hell you want to do? Or do you believe in the black Messiah who told you you got to keep the commandments or die? Right? Because that's, that's the Jesus Christ I believe in. Right? Okay. What's going on, bro? Let me talk to you real quick, bro. All right. All right. All right. All right. What's going on, man? Where you from? 
From here, what's your ethnic background? What's all? How y'all how y'all doing? How y'all how y'all doing? Can I ask y'all a question? Yes. Y'all believe in God? Yes. Which God y'all believe in? I believe in the most high. You believe in the most high? What's his name? High. What's his name? God. His name his name not God. God is his title. Huh? Is his name your highway? Your highway? You're close. You're not far off. God. But my brother's an Israelite, so I forgot. But, the the, 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 your brother's in this life, that means that you're in this life. Right? Because you know what it, Israelites. Do you know what it means to be an Israelite? Do you know what it means to be an Israelite? We, 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 God died for his 12 tribes of Israel. Well, not, God didn't die. Jesus, Jesus died for the children of Israel, right? Which are so called blasphemies and they murdered. You don't believe in the Bible? Yes, I believe in the Bible. Okay, that's good, right? So here's the thing, right? When it, when it comes to believing in the Bible, the foundation, right, for most of our people starts at the latter end of the book, right? I believe, I, I believe um, that it's a bigger, it's, it's the one sitting on a, trunk, uh, a, a throne. He can't come down here too big. The most high guy, yeah, absolutely, right? But he but he gave us instructions, right? The instructions that he gave us are found in the first five books of the Bible. I listen to you guys all the time. Okay, but so now what now that you listen, right? You gotta start putting it into practice, all right, sister? Yeah. All right, you have a you have a good one, all right? Love you, sir. Y'all be safe, man. Right? Again, my question, are there any Muslims in the crowd? Anyone out anyone out here Muslim? No one's a Muslim? No Muslim. I can't believe there ain't no Muslims out here. Any Muslims? I would love to have a conversation with a Muslim about the Quran. Where are, my, where are all the Philly Muslims at, man? Sister, are you Muslim? No? Okay, I see you got, you got, your, you got your little doobie on. She probably just got her hair done. You all good, right? Any, any Muslims in the crowd? Ah, she's a heathen. I don't care about that. Any black Muslims, right? I, I want to talk. To, I want to talk to a black or Hispanic Muslim, right? What's going on, brothers? How y'all doing? Let me ask you a question. Good talk. Good talk. Right? Read that again. Yeah, Where you at? He got one for you. Any Muslims? Where the Muslims at? You Muslim sis? How you doing, sis? Good. What's your name, sis? Jordan, nice. Jordan, did you know that your name is in the Bible? Right, but you said that you're Muslim, right? Why are you Muslim? My dad. Your dad raised you to be Muslim? Let me ask a question. As a Muslim, right, when's the last time you read the Quran? When's the last time you read the Quran? Huh? A week ago? And what did you read? You don't remember? I, it, it, it's, it's it's fine, right? Because uh, when I was young, when I was young, and how old are you? Twelve. Twelve, right? When I was twelve, right, I was raised in a church. I was raised Christian, right? And pastor would talk, and I'll fall asleep, right? And I wouldn't, wouldn't really be paying attention, right? But the Quran, right? The Quran says some very interesting things about our people, right? And when I say our people, I mean the Israelites, right? Did you know that so-called Black Hispanics and Native Americans are the Israelites? You knew that? My dad teaches me about some stuff. I don't, I don't really, I don't really be memorable. I try to listen to him. Yeah, whatever, dad. Right? But, but, but check this out, right? So, what does it mean to be an Israelite? Is a, is a question, right? The, the suffix "ite," right? Whenever you read the Bible and you see "ite," it means descendant of. So there was a man named Jacob. His name was changed to Israel, right? And he had twelve sons, right? And his twelve sons had sons and daughters, right? We, so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. We're the sons and daughters of that man Jacob. So we are the Israelites. We are the descendants of the man named Israel. Right? Now here's the thing. Our people, right, are here in America, right? Because we made a covenant with the God that's wrote about in the Bible and we broke the covenant. Right? We broke the agreement and he punished us by sending us into slavery. Right? And he guess what? He sent prophets. He raised up prophets from among the Israelites. To, to warn them, to remind them to come back to God and keep the commandments, right? But guess what? Part of those punishments would be that we'd be scattered all over the world and we would be worshiping gods of wood and stone, right? Now, when we look at Islam, what's one of the major symbols of Islam? Um, Voodoo. Voodoo? What, what does that mean? It's like when you like, like, like you have to, 
like make it like wash your face and stuff so like read the Quran. Oh, so cleansing, right? Cleansing. But what's, what's one of the major, major symbols? Kaaba. You ever heard of the Kaaba? The Kaaba stone? You know what the Kaaba is? Yeah. Right? So so as a Muslim, right, Muslims are supposed to make, uh, they're supposed to do their, their, their uh, uh, that, before that, you're supposed to do your, um, your Shahada, right, which is your declaration of faith, right, and there's five pillars. And part of one of those five pillars is you going, making your Hajj back to Mecca, where the Kaaba stone is. Well, the Kaaba stone was actually a house full of idols. A house full of idols that Muhammad came and cleansed and then dedicated it to Allah. Now, here's the problem with that, right? The God that he, he's alluding to, right, which really isn't, is the God of the Bible, right? The God of the Bible told the children of Israel, our forefathers, to go into a land and burn all the idols burn all the houses or the temples of other gods the Kaaba stone was a was a temple for other gods right the people that lived in, in that area in arabia at that time the arabs they had over 360 gods one for each day of, of the year right so they repurposed the Kaaba as a central point of worship for muslims that's problematic now the, well, the reason why i asked you about when was the last time you read the quran right it's because the Quran says that the children of Israel are the prophets. Let me show you that, right? Hold on, horses, right? Let me give you one. Let me show you something right now. Check this out, sister. This is Surah 29, 27. Listen up, sister. And we gave to him Isaac and Jacob. It gives him Isaac and Jacob. Jacob is the forefather of us. We are the Israelites, right? Read on. And place in his descendants prophethood. Place in what? His descendants, prophethood, and scripture. So the scriptures were given to the Israelites. Prophethood was given to the Israelites, right? Only the Israelites are the prophets. So Muhammad is regarded as a prophet, right? But in the Quran, there's not a single prophecy. So how can Muhammad be a prophet if there's no prophecy? And according to the Quran, prophethood was given to the children of Israel. Muhammad was not a child of Israel. The, the Quran also tells you that you have to read the Bible. You have to confirm the scriptures that were before, right? And those scriptures were given to our people, right? And those scriptures said that only we are the prophets. Right. Those scriptures said that we are the only nation of the people that God knows. So you, Sister Jordan, right, your name is Hebrew, right? There's a river in the Bible called the Jordan River, or in Hebrew, Yaradon, right? So you're an Israelite, right? What's your dad's African background? Is he black American? Is your dad African American? Right, then you will be an Israelite from the tribe of Judah, sister. Right, that you're the you're from the same tribe as Jesus Christ. Right, we are the Israelites. Right, and we gotta stop following the ways of Islam. We gotta stop following Christianity because neither of those ideologies or religions are conducive to our people. Right, Philly is. Excuse me. Go ahead, sister. So, what's the Israelite religion? So the Israelites, right? The word religion, right? The word religion means to. Uh, to bind, right? What, what are the Israelites bound to? The Israelites are bound to the covenant or the agreement that they made with the Most High God. And a part of the, that covenant entails us keeping the law, statutes, commandments. So Muslims, right, they don't eat pork, right? Well, guess what? The, the Israelites made a covenant with God where they said that they wouldn't eat pork. They said that they wouldn't eat shrimp, crab, or lobster. They said that they wouldn't steal from each other. They wouldn't lie to one another, right? They would respect them. They would honor or respect their mothers and fathers, right? It says that they would uh, they would keep the holy days or holidays that God gave. So there's a list of rules and instructions that God gave to the Israelites. We are the Israelites. That's what we're bound to. We are bound to the oath, the covenant that we made with the Most High God. Y'all all are Israelites. Yes, we are Israelites. So are you. You're an Israelite. That's right. Are uh, you a so-called African American? Are you black American? Uh-huh. Then you're an Israelite as well. You're from the tribe of Judah. What, 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 are you African American, sister? Yatsu? That both African American, both your dads are African American, then all four of y'all are princesses of Dora's design. Y'all right. are like Israelites from the tribe of Judah, right? Y'all are the best people on the planet Earth. Right. Let, me get, let me show you that. The God, the God of the Bible said that the children of Israel are the best people. Read that. Bring it out. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. Uh -huh. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Holy means separate and set apart, right? God said that y'all are holy, separate and set apart. Read on. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. He chose you, right? 
if there's a chosen, that means there's an unchosen. We're the chosen, right? Read. To be a special people unto himself. Read on. Above all people. No, equal to. Above all people. No, beneath. Above all people. God said that y'all are above all people. Read on. That are upon the face of the earth. See that you're better than the white girls at school. You're better than the Asian girls at school. You're better than the East Indian girls at school, right? So-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, right? We're all one family. We're the children of Israel, right? And what we got to do is come back to the Most High God and keep his commandments. That's what we got to be bound to, the covenant that we made with our God. You understand? Make sense, sis? Benji, let's get the sisters, let's get the sisters some flyers. You got them. Y'all got flyers? So, 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 young sisters, right? What I want y'all to do when y'all get home, right? What y'all about to go to the movies or something? Mm -hmm. Right? What movie y'all about, about to go see? The Nun. The Nun? Oh, was that a scary movie? So, yeah. something else. You seen I never here. Haunted house. The Haunted House. The Haunted House. Okay. Well, let me tell you that. After you, get, after you get done watching The Haunted House, right, you need to go home, go on YouTube, right? On those, those flyers, there are YouTube channels, right? Which, oh, with all of our teachings, right? We teach the truth of the Bible. We teach the, the heritage and the true culture of our people. We are the Israelites. This is, I don't know. YouTube? Huh? So, this... Video is well, it, it might, it, it might not, right? But we, we do we do film and we do put videos on YouTube, right? But other than our interaction, right? There's tons of other interactions. There's tons of lessons about what's required of us, right? And about what's to come, right? Y'all see what's going? Y'all hear what's going on with Ukraine and Russia and everything with the war? Well, guess what? World War Three is about to happen, and the Bible prophesies World War Three, right? How, it, it, listen, it can be happening. Some people say that World War Three has already started because in Ukraine you got NATO and U.S. Fight, uh, soldiers fighting in Ukraine. So that's multiple countries fighting one war, right? You got you got the U.S., you got Britain, you got France, you got all these NATO allies providing uh, weapons to Ukraine against Russia. That's a world war, depending on how you look at it. But at the end of World War Three, right? You ever heard the phrase "one strike, two strikes, three strikes are out"? Well, guess what? America's on her third strike, right? And in the World War III, America, the place that we live in, is going to be destroyed. That's right. America's going to lose, right? This war is about to be a thermonuclear war. So I have another question. Uh huh. So are we going to die? So I, I, I'll tell you, right? Let me get Zechariah 13, right? Let me show you, right? Good let, let me get Isaiah 59 and 20. Let me show, that's a great question. Very inquisitive sister, right? And a great, right. phenomenal question, right? Let me show you, right? Zechariah 13 and, uh, and 8, right? Check this out. Uh, this is the book of Zechariah, chapter 13 and verse 8. Uh -huh. It shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord. In all the land, right? It's talking about Babylon the Great, which is America, right? Prophetically, right? In all the land there are, read, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Two parts or two thirds shall be cut off and die. So two thirds of the Israelites here in America are going to be cut off and die, right? Read on. But the third shall be left therein, uh -huh. and I will bring, bring the third part through the fire. And the Lord said he's going to bring the third part through the fire. So America is going to be destroyed via fire, thermonuclear fire, and two-thirds are going to be consumed therein, but one-third is going to be delivered out of that, right? Now, let's see what you got to do to be delivered, right? Read that. Thanks, uh, 59, 20. This is the book of Isaiah 59, verse 20. Uh -huh. And the Redeemer shall come to Zion. The Redeemer. The Redeemer is who the world calls Jesus Christ, right? His true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai, which means he saves, right? The angel told Joseph to name him that because he was supposed to save his people from their sins. We are his people, right? He's the Redeemer. It says the Redeemer shall come to what? To Zion. Zion represents Israel, right? Y'all are the daughters of Zion, right? We're the sons of Zion, right? He said that I'm going to, the Redeemer is going to come to Zion, read on. And unto them that turn from transgression. Who turn from what? From transgression in Jacob, saith the Lord. Those who stop sinning, right? So what is sin? Sin is the breaking of God's laws, statutes, and commandments, right? God gave us rules. So if God says don't eat pork and you eat pork, guess what? You're, sin you're sinning. If you continue in that sin and you don't turn from that sin, right, you'll be part of that number. Now, we don't want that for, for any of y'all, right? But guess what? There's things that you have to do in order to not be part of that number. You have to... Believe on who the world calls Jesus Christ, whose name is Yahweh Shai, who died a grievous death for us, right? And you have to keep the commandments, right? The commandments that are found in the first five books of the Bible. All right? What's your name, sister? 
My name, my name, Brooke. Brooke? Well, that's, Brooke, you, ask, you probably asked the best question. I, I've been doing this for five years. You, you probably asked the best question that any young sister has ever asked. Me. Right, all okay. right. You asked a great question. So now I hope we gave you the answers. You got to look into that information, right, and start following the ways of your forefathers, right? right? Following the ways of your foremothers, following those commandments, right? So that you can be delivered from the destruction that's coming to the place that we call home, right? You got any other questions? Um, why do y'all walk around with staves? With staves? Yeah. Let me get that in, uh, what's that, Zephaniah, right? Because it's part of our culture, right? It's like asking, uh, it's like asking Arabs, why do they, why do they not wear deodorant? Right? It's like asking, uh, it's like asking Chinese people why they smell like that, right? It's like asking those questions, right? It's, it's like, why, why do Chinese people eat chocolate? Eat with chopsticks. That's part of their culture. Part of their culture. It's part of our culture. But I have another question. Go ahead. So I know when you were saying that, like, like religion is strong, right? Like, so do y'all go to church or like to the masjid? Y'all don't. So, so, don't do none of that. So this is church, right? Let me get uh, let me get Acts seven and thirty eight, right? Right. See, we've been we've been led to believe that church is a building, right? Church is not a building, right? The word church means the called out assembly. Right? Who's the called out assembly? The children of Israel. God called the Israelites out of Egypt. Right? Read that. This is Acts chapter 7, verse 38. This is he that was in the church in the wilderness. He was in the what? In the church in the wilderness. So so here's Stephen, right? He's talking about Jesus, right? He's saying that Jesus was in the was with the church in the wilderness. Right? The church in the wilderness were the children of Israel that got led out with Moses. Right? So we're, so we're the church. We as the people are the church. Right? That's what church is, right? Now, do we go to a building and learn and things of that nature? Absolutely, we do that, right? But Christ said, right, go out to the highways and hedges and bid my people to the marriage. So we actually follow what Christ said, right? The, the so-called churches, they don't follow Jesus. They don't do what Jesus said, dude, right? They, they, they hold services inside. Christ said, go out to the highways and hedges, to the streets. And spread his word. And spread his word. So that's what we do. We, we see, we actually follow Christ. We're, we're, the, we're true Christians. To be a Christian means to be a follower of Christ. Christ told his, his disciples, his, his, his followers, to go out and bid people to the marriage. To tell them that the kingdom of heaven is at hand, right? Because after America is destroyed, guess what? The kingdom where we will rule over everyone will be established. There's a world coming where you are going to have Asian girls doing your feet for free. Right. Right? You're, you're going to have little white girls, right, just laying on, they're going to be on their hands and knees, and you're going to have your feet up on them. That's right. Right? You're going to have white boys in the fields picking cotton to make you the most beautiful dress that you could ever imagine. That's right. Right? That's what the Bible uh, promises for the children of Israel. Right? That we will rule over our oppressors. Right? I asked the uh, other brother, like, how did we get here to America? Right? We got here on slave ships. Right? Well, guess what? Let me get Revelation 13, right? We got over here on slave ships and we had to be slaves and build up the society of, of white people, right? And guess what? We got sold all around the world, right? You got our people in India, in Pakistan, right? They call the city people, right? They were slaves, right? And they're still treated like we're treated. They're treated like crap, right? Our people were slaves all over. You ever heard about the Silk Road in school? You ever learned about the Silk Road? So the Silk Road was a was a road from like Eurasia to like far east, right? And guess what? They used to sell all types of goods. They also used to sell people. What people? Our people, right? Read that. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. You got ears, right? Read. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Who led us into captivity? Who are when we were, I mean we're slaves here in America? Who are they slaves to? White people. So it says he and white. So that means white people led us into uh, to slavery, right? So it says he that leadeth into captivity or slavery shall what? Shall go into captivity. That means white people gotta go into slavery to us. Read on. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Just the other day, right? That that cop killed that Hispanic brother, right? So called Hispanics are our people as well. They they they're from the northern kingdom of Israel, right? So called Puerto Ricans. Mexicans, Central America, those are all of our people. We're all one family, right, with the Israelites. Well, guess what? That Puerto Rican brother got killed by a white cop, and he just got off, right? Trayvon Martin got killed by a white guy, all right? Uh, Sandra Bland. I have another question. Go ahead. Why can't white people be Israelites? Okay. 
So, so the suffix "-ait", right? Suffix "-ait", means descendants of, right? By and large, white people are descendants of Esau, right? Isaac, right? So you have Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Isaac had two sons, his sons of Jacob and Esau, right? The blessing passed from Abraham to Isaac to Jacob. Esau didn't get the blessing, right? Esau was the father of the Edomites. By and large, white people are the descendants of Edom, right? So by and large, so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans are the descendants of Jacob or Israel, right. right? So they can't be Israelites because they don't descend from the man named Israel, right? Now, right, white people are not special in, in this, this judgment. Asian people, sla Asian people enslaved us. Arab people enslaved us. That, that's for instance, right? We're talking just about Islam, right? A lot of our people don't realize that the, the, the Arabs who started Islam, they enslaved us before the white man came over to Africa and enslaved us. Right, so guess what? They led us into captivity. They got to go into captivity. That's Every right. single nation of people has enslaved us. Every single nation of people have cursed or hurt us, right? Guess what? We got to get out, get back. Let me get Isaiah 16 and 12, right? So those that led us into captivity, they have to go, they have to go into captivity. Because you ever heard the phrase, what goes around comes around, right? Scriptures say that whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap, right? Scriptures say it is a righteous or a correct thing with God to recompense or repay tribulation to those that trouble you. Would, would it not, would, was slavery troubling to us? Very. Very troubling, right? We're still feeling the ramifications thereof, right? So guess what? The Bible says that it's a righteous or a correct or right thing with God to repay tribulation to those that troubled us. They troubled us with slavery, they ain't got to get troubled with slavery. Right? Read right. that. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 60 and verse 12. Uh -huh. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee. The nation and kingdom that will not serve you. Right, read on. Shall perish. Shall what? Shall perish. They ain't never read that to you in the church. Never. I know they did. Because that's what I spent, I spent 20 years in the church and I never read that or heard that Bible verse read before. Right? Read on. Yeah. Those nations shall be utterly wasted. Those nations, multiple, not just the white people, not just the white nation, all nations that have troubled us, that have enslaved us, right? Guess what? They have to serve us. Those people behind you, those those East Indians or Pakistan, I don't know if they're Pakistani, East Indian, guess what? They enslaved us, right? They got to go into uh, captivity, right? L this, this, this guy right here. Oh. Joe Dirt over here, that's what he enslaved us. Joe right? Dirt. His, his ancestors enslaved us. They got, they got to go into slavery. Question for you. Right? Ask him a question. Yeah. I'm talking, to my, I ask I'm, I'm talking to my sisters right there. Yep, no you, 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 go, you go wait. I'll answer your question, right? You got another question, sis? No, I got to go somewhere, but thank you for self No problem. Y'all be safe, all right? Again, when y'all go home, go on YouTube and check out those channels, all right? Love y'all. We love y'all, sis. I got food upon Esau. When we up, they down seesaw. My flow like sushi, too raw. Yeah, how am I power? Gear for war. Ezekiel 2514. Vengeance upon Edom, says the Lord. That path is narrow, not broad. By faith and work, we won't fall. We sliding on Edom from teaming the Dedan. Hooked on the Torah, addicted, I'm feeling. His mercy on Jacob, the heathen is cleaving. They pine when I feel from morning to evening. They got the powers through murder and scheming. We got up next Year, you better believe it. We got up next year, you better believe it. Hey, look, stressed out to the max, but my spirit still intact. Plus, my brotherhood means everything. Cause if I ever fall, they help me back up. This a car set, got a Floyd record. So spiritually, we can spread up. But if I was you, I wouldn't do this shit. You better off collide with a max truck. Got a battle axe, make you back up. Matter of fact, nigga, back up. Cause the spirit in you not upright. So I know any minute you can act up. It's the last day, so we strapped up. Money spiritual, so I stack up. Know what that means? Well, in other words, right after camp, I put a rack up. 